back with another episode. Now that the rabbits are all done, everybody's closed in over there as well. Everybody's good. Now I need to work on the chickens. For the chickens, I use this titanium wrap. All right, I'm back with another video. Got some chickens in a 10 by 10 dog kennel. Built the roof, put the stud down to have some more support during the snow time anyway. And then uh, roost, nest box. I usually have a ground box in here too, but I don't have it right now. And titanium along the top side where they roost, probably from where they have this end of this chicken wire from here all the way around to the other side it has a piece of chicken wire as well past the roost a little bit but on this one I'm going to have to uh, zip tie everything and this titanium is perfect for it I'll show you how I do it all right got my zip ties in this bucket stick it on this side right where I want it Okay, so what I did was, all I did was go across the top, leave the bottom unstrapped. What I did was, uh, on these straps, the groove side goes towards you, so go inside and zip tie it. And the top chain link right here is just where it's holding it, this right here. So you go in through this hole that I made for it right here. Let's see if I can do it. Alright, now I have my wife on the camera now. Much easier for me to show you guys a little more detail. Okay. This triangle or this X right here is where I'm going to zip tie it in. I already got a hole in the titanium. Make sure you're Rivets are facing towards you. Hook it in. Lock her down. Same. Guys, it's getting cold. <laughs> Same thing here. Cut a little hole right below the center of the X. Bend it over. Lock her in. Now go down to the bottom. Find where you can actually hook it decently. And there's the center of the X right here as well. So I'm going to go a little over right there, right underneath the X. Tie it in, loop it over, stick it in the zip tie. Remember, I said you can get these zip ties, they're cheap. You can get a big bundle of them. Tractor supply. That one's good to go. Find another X right here is a good one. Every time you see the X, see it's right there. So you go right inside of the X. Shift your zip tie through. Bend it over. Just work your way along the bottom. So the top's already in. Just that little hole in it. I'm going to do two holes in this one. Because this one gets a lot of wind. The corners usually, the bottom corner usually gets pretty windy. Stick it in. This is going to be a tricky one because you got to go through two holes. Pull it 
through. Walk her down. I got three up here. As you can see, I'm gonna do three down. One, two, three. Three down here, get in the middle. Lock her in. I'm gonna do one more in the middle. On this side. <coughs> Can't have enough zip ties. Ever. And then when it comes summertime, I'll show you guys. I just go along it, snip the zip ties, and throw them away. All right, that's how you winterize a dog kennel, just like that. Easy. Blocks it for the wind. They can get down and get in the sun. Good. All right, all finished up. Now the snow or the freezing rain won't come in, blowing them from the sides. They'll have somewhere that's dry. This is basically what I'm after. And when no wind. And this is uh, another way how to winterize your chickens because it is dropping temperature fast here. All right, it's windy. Okay, but as you can see, they're blocked in. Good to go. Alright, thanks for watching Ruby Homestead and the grass is kind of growing. And we'll see you guys on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. This is Ruby Homestead. Get some button caps. See how this pin right here just has a corner. These are game chickens as well. And you just wrap around, I would say from here, because you got your water and feeder from here back. I'll wrap that titanium around their roost all the way across probably end right here on this side and I'm gonna wrap it and I'll show you guys how to do it pull it down a little bit but stay on your top side so you can keep your line I'm just going with this blue line that's on the side of it and eyeballing it from the other side sun so it would melt a little bit too. That's what you're trying to figure out when you close that. These kind of pins in. Some lines on the top.
has netting on it. So if the wind does catch it. across the top because it's a lot easier to fix your corners. Then you go down to your bottom. Make sure your line's the same. See how this is the uh, about an inch. It's a little heavy over here, probably an inch and a half, but pretty close to where I want it. Then I'll show you here in a second. I'm gonna go around the bottom first, but I'm gonna cut the paper right underneath where the tin line's at. So it'll go right underneath so it kind of makes it kind of waterproof but still it's more for a windbreaker and some winterized some chickens i like to give them more room i don't like my chickens all tied up i like them on fresh ground as well it's pretty tight stick running through i gotta cut this one in but it'll be fine Right there, got the bottom. I kind of went a little lower on the bottom side, but I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it. But this is how I do it. And okay, I'll keep showing you. Okay, this side's underneath the tin. This side I couldn't do underneath the tin. I wanna try to do a cap on top right here because you can see I kinda went too far on my tin. Cut to drip. This pin, as you can see, the water is over this way, out of the shade, so it can warm up and have this side to out of the shade as well. Sun a little bit there. Very nice looking though. Now we'll probably show some videos on how to make these pins. Little chicken pins. It's a little trio. Two hens and a rooster. Game hens do lay a lot of eggs. Which we like, don't we girls? Eggs. Kind of like a leghorn egg, I would say. All right. And that is how you winterize a chicken pen. You got two nesting boxes. One right there, I can move around where I want. Oh, just throw some dirt off. Been dirt bathing. Get the mites off. So you can see they got two good sized holes in here. dirt bathing and that's their other area that I build permanently in most of the pens you guys want to see a video on that I'll show you how to do that all right they're doing good some old trailer trusses I just put these uh, strips in here keep it straight keep them strong on the sides I put chicken wire so they can't climb in. I don't know if you can 
can see it or not. It's kind of hard to see, but it's there. And you can see these over here, chicken wire. As for an extra hinge, water does look green. I gave him vitamins yesterday. It's more like yellow than anything. Electrolytes. Everybody got electrolytes yesterday. I always do that at the, the beginning of the year. Alright, I'm just still closing up pins for winterizing chicken coops. And this is some scrap stuff. It's old tarp. I save all my old tarps and cut them up to small pieces. I'll have to cut that one again, but like I said, you want to aim for the roost. Because during the night time, they're going to go to roost. Wind's going to be blowing, snow's going to be blowing, whatever. Freezing rain, whatever's in the air. And you want to protect them as much as possible. At least I'll have that side protected and a little, about half of this side. Usually I aim for is past roost on both sides. Past roost, roost on both sides and close it in, but this will be good enough. As much as you can get anyway. It'll help them a lot. Hi, Ruby. Hi, Ruby. Back nailed in. We got to roll this up. Water hose is done for the year. All by bucket now. Where are the girls? In the greenhouse where it's warm. <laughs> nice. Ladybug. <laughs> Got some greens that Frankie bought me. <laughs> I don't remember what they are, but they're different types of kale. There's a couple different ones here. We just put them in this bed. In the greenhouse. They seem to be doing okay. The little lettuce transplant's kind of looking pitiful, but... And then all of these are... Well, it's a little bit of everything. There are some greens in here. There's some... Should be some lettuce, I hope. Some spinach, I really hope. Just all the cold hardy stuff, not the cauliflower and broccoli and all that, but boy, they are going to town on my planners. It's okay, everything in there is done, I'm sure. They can go ahead and get the mice. Freezing their knickerbockers on that metal roof. I don't know why they don't like the the wooden one. Probably because this one. is up. But Nikki, hold me over here. This is flex wrap. If you ever do buy it, it's for setting windows and doors and stuff. Just to flex wrap your ROs when you're framing. It's your rough openings. Okay, so. This thing doubles in size. That's why it's called flex wrap. So, get about halfway. It's right about there. Get 
my knife out. Knife's not too sharp, but it'll do for this rubber tape. Like I'm saying, any tape will work. Duct tape is probably the easiest thing, the cheapest thing that will work really well. But I plan on this stuff last for years. Like I said, my knife's pretty dull. This will last for years. Duct tape won't. You want to hold the okay. So I needed two people because what you do is you pull it apart, take the white part off. This is the rubber side. I mean, you can stick it to something and pull on it. Don't let it touch. You don't want to let it touch the ground because it'll instantly grab stuff. Pull on it. Don't let it touch the ground. Go towards the door. That is some crazy stuff. Okay. All right. Go towards the pole. Oh, you got the door open. Go for the door. Go for the door. All right. Go for this one right here. Want me to start or you? No. Go ahead. Just take the top side first. If that was see, a little bouncy, guys. <laughs> we have it wrapped on one side, stretched it out. We only cut half. Go from this side, stick it, wrap it over. This side, stick it, wrap it over. And it makes a, this thing twice its size. And Two layers of rubber. Stick it, wrap it over. I mean, it don't gotta be perfect because it's just for chickens. But oh, they'll really enjoy this. Feels like it might have a better grip for them too. Yeah. It will. This stuff grips to anything. Especially itself. You ever let it touch itself, you don't screw it up because you're never going to get it apart. <laughs> the thing about this tape, it sticks just about on anything. Alright, that one's done and we're going to go for the other one. You can definitely tell a difference. I mean, this is still cold, but it's not even close to how cold the actual metal is. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll do the same thing here. I'll be over here. Yeah. Okay. The thing you do is the same thing. I just did it on this one. Get about halfway. Right here. I would say you can use use wood, use wood, but wood eventually wears out. Even if you make them this thick, it won't last forever. metal wheel especially after wrapping in this stuff off the ground too it's gonna be 
pretty nice. You can see the water is kind of frozen. Pretty rooster. This is a pretty boy. I love their eyes. I am, of course. Yeah, their eyes are so pretty. Some of the blues' eyes are so crazy looking. I have one blue hand that looks like a sparkle in her eyes. Here you go. Grab that side. Pull it like that. And I'll do as much as I can, but I usually just stick it to something. Like that. If you're doing it by yourself, stretch it out. It's harder to stretch like that, but you can do it. It's not impossible. Alright, this side stretched out quite a bit. I'll go ahead and start it right there. Stick it on this side. Wrap it over a little bit. Go back to here. And then get the rest of your stretch. Like so. stuff is really sticky. I'm not joking. These are really tight afterwards. And move on to the next. It's going to be a little bulgy because... Yeah, right. Give them something to grip. Yeah. But they'll have plenty of grip and it'll be a lot, a lot warmer for their feet. Because that's what I like to stay off the ground sometimes because the water, the ground's frozen. I like to get on the roost. The roost ain't much better, so. And this, I like this dome thing because it's an old satellite dish. Put some scrap tin on it. And they can just come right up in it right here and for the most part they're already out of the wind yeah they're already out of the wind exactly for the most part and the heat rises and it'll all catch right there and bounce back down on them for the most part for the most part you know never mind the little pinholes but yeah <laughs> thanks for watching I showed you a little how to save some material on wrapping your little small pins, extra tarp, titanium, whatever you have. And I showed you how to wrap some uh, metal roosting poles. So thanks for watching. Bees are not active at all. And uh, some moon was in the back with the fire. And we'll, uh, we'll see you guys on the next episode. Uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and comment if you have a question or want me to do a show or show you how to do something. All right. See you later. Thanks for watching. Continue to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Ruby Homestead. Bye, y'all.